Hello everyone, welcome to the CSS3 course. In this video, I'm going to talk about three important concepts of CSS, which are cascading, specificity, and inheritance. Before I discuss these three um, important properties, I would like to show the web page together with the HTML file that corresponds to this web page. So in this HTML file, I would have a paragraph followed by a block quote, and after the, the block quote, I would have an unordered list. And you can see that I have already men mentioned the classes and IDs that would help me introduce these three concepts later. So I would like to demonstrate the CSS code that can demonstrate these three important properties. Okay, um, you can see that my web page has turned to blue font color because I have already applied a universal selector by this asterisk um, selector. So you can see that, that the words have turned to blue already. And I would like to show um, some important properties after the change of the font color. Okay, so let me go to the first part, which is called cascading. Cascading is quite easy to understand. When you have some elements whose styles are in conflict, the styles that are placed at um, a later part of your CSS file will prevail. So I will show you this example by means of the paragraph here. Suppose I already turn the paragraph font to monospace. If I have a similar um, declaration after the monospace declaration, the later one will win the battle. Okay, you can see that I have turned the font family to sans serif because I put the sans serif font after the declaration corresponding to the monospace um, font family. So we have to remember that this is known as cascading. When we have conflicting styles, the one at the later part will override the settings on the previous parts. And then after cascading, I would like to talk about specificity. Specificity is simply the competition among multiple declarations for a single element. In this case, we would give more weight to a certain declaration according to the following order. When we have multiple declarations for a single element, a class is more specific than an element. Also, an ID is even more specific than a class. And even more, an inline style is even more specific than an ID. So I would like to demonstrate these three um, properties now. I would like to uh, demonstrate it by means of the block quote here. You can see that I have already given a class name to the block quote together with an ID name for the block quote. So now let me style the block quote by specifying the element directly. Okay, I can simply change the background color of the block quote by means of the element selector. And I would like to demonstrate that um, the class declaration is even more powerful than the element alone. So I can show you this property by the following code. Okay, you can see that the block quote 
has turned its background color to light blue instead of the original aqua color. So what does it mean by that? When I simply specify the element by means of the class identifier, the class identifier is even able to override the style set by using the element selector alone. So we can um, verify this property. A class is more specific than an element. So the class declaration um, corresponding to a particular element wins the battle against the declaration by means of this element alone. Okay. And the second thing to talk about is the battle between a class and an ID. Okay. Okay, you can see that the background color has changed to orange because I used the ID to specify the element. So we can see that an ID would win the battle against the class when we talk about specificity. Okay, so an ID is more, even more specific than a class. So if we have a class identifier to specify an element, it would win the war against the class declaration. Okay. And one more important thing is that we have to notice that an inline style is even more specific than an ID. So if I just um, declare an inline style inside the opening tag of the block code um, element, we will see the change in the background color very quickly. Okay, when I simply add the inline style, you can see that the color of the background for my block code has changed to the color specified inside the inline code, which is lime. Okay, so this is the important property. An inline style is even more important than, uh, or, or even more specific than an ID. So we have to remember the order like this. Um, the element selector alone is the weakest and the class identifier is stronger the id identifier is even stronger but the strongest one is the inline style mentioned inside the opening tag okay after talking about specificity we would like to talk about inheritance so let me go to the unordered list what does it mean by inheritance we can see an example already on the web page. When I want to set up the unordered list, we will see that the font color of the unordered list has already inherited from the body styles. So you can see that for my body, every single character has turned to blue font color due to the um, universal selector shown above okay and this is known as inheritance even though the unordered list elements are inside the unordered list tags um, the list elements would inherit the color coming from its parent element okay so if we really want to change the color explicitly we need to do so by using the code like this way Okay, you can see that I really do the changing of the color explicitly by using the uh, CSS declaration as follows. I specify the element which is li, and then I turn the characters inside the unordered list into red. So in this case, my setup is able to override the inherited colors from the body styles. Okay. If you really want to change the pattern coming from the inheritance effect, 
you can do so by overriding the inheritance using the styles of your parent element. What does it mean by the overriding action? Now the list elements have turned to red color. If you want、um, the list elements to inherit the color coming from the body styles, which is blue, we can do so right here, so that the parent element properties and styles can be brought to the descendants. Okay. Okay, by using the inherit keyword, you can just inherit the color coming from the parent element. So you can see that the first list item has changed its font color to the color that comes from its parent element, which is the unordered list. And actually, the unordered list is simply controlled by the universal selector, which is here. So when I do the、uh, inheriting action, I just turn the font color from red to blue. Okay. In addition to the inherit keyword, I want to、um, introduce one more keyword to you. Actually, we can override inheritance by retaining the initial styles of your parent element. Remember that our font color. Has turned to blue at the very beginning by means of the universal selector. If you don't apply the universal selector here, we can expect that every single character has black color. So if you just want to retain the initial color of the font, you can do so by means of the initial keyword. So let me demonstrate it to you now. Okay, you can see that the element corresponding to ID two would be turned to black, which is the initial color of your parent element, which is your unordered list. So the initial keyword is even able to override the universal selector settings shown at the very beginning of the CSS file. So you can see that by means of the Inherit keyword and the initial keyword, you are able to override inheritance quite easily. And remember, the initial keyword is even able to override the universal selector settings. So after this video, I hope you are able to understand the basics of cascading, specificity, and inheritance. So you are able to notice the change in the styles when you apply. The styles properly, and for specificity, you need to remember these、um, few lines to understand the weight to different declarations of your elements. And for the inheritance, you can override inheritance by means of the inherit keyword and the initial keyword properly. This is the end of the video. If you have any questions about my video, please leave your questions on the comment section below the video. If you like this video, please give me a like and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.